Hello, Adolfo from Portainer, and today we're going to talk about Kubernetes services. How we manage these with Portainer when you deploy applications uh, like cluster IP, node port, uh, load balancer, ingress. So let's log into our Kubernetes um, uh, cluster via Portainer here. This Portainer instance, by the way, is deployed on this Kubernetes cluster that is running um, four nodes. There's one node though, that is an ARM64 node. So this is a hybrid Kubernetes cluster. Uh, the other nodes are running on a, a AMD64 architecture. Uh, okay, so let's deploy an application, let's say called Caddy, and with no service type associated to it. It's very simple. All you'll have to do is um, deploy the image or this application and not assign a port to this application and there you go it's deployed with no service type to it but um i do need though that an application that can run with a cluster ip service type how would we do this here um again we have the default internal uh, option on publishing the application but we publish a new port and caddy runs on port 80. So once I click on deploy, now we have publishing mode internal. This is a cluster IP type, um, a cluster IP service type associated to this application. Right, so it's running still within the cluster. Now I need to deploy an application on a node port service type. What do we do? We select the cluster option on publishing the application. And as you can see, it says publish this application via a port on all nodes of the cluster. So it's a node port service type. The port would be 80 and the node port, I'm just gonna use the default uh, suggested node port 30080. When I deploy the application, I can see that the publishing mode here is cluster and the exposed port that is a node port service is 30080 so let's say i have this right node here and i see i can access the application also via port 30080 on my kubernetes cluster okay so now let's deploy caddy with load balancer We can select now here load balancer and there's a specific range of IPs I've configured for this load balancer so it can manage and, and um, distribute the load balancing uh, of this application called Caddy LB throughout my Kubernetes cluster. You know what? I'm going to deploy this as a daemon set. I deploy the application. I see it's a daemon set. So it's going to run a copy of the application throughout all the nodes of my Kubernetes cluster. And the load balancer is going to do uh, the load balancing of the ingress of this application throughout all the nodes of my cluster on this IP 1051 to 10. So if I click here on access, I can access the application caddy. Um, and it's using the load balancer uh, deployed in the Kubernetes cluster, configured, sorry, on the Kubernetes cluster. Okay, now finally, I want to use the ingress uh, service type. So how would we do this? We go to resource pool, we create a resource pool. I'm not gonna play around with resource assignment now. I will though enable the ingress called public and give it a name, call it flash zero or any other name this is a wild card uh domain within my network i'm also going to enable the redirect publish routes to the root of the application and create the resource pool now i'm going to deploy the application add application call it caddy ingress same image image caddy now here you see as we saw in the other um, examples that we have only three options. 
if I select the caddy resource pool that I, that I um, configured a, an ingress to it, I will see now that I have ingress as an option. So I can select ingress or 80. The route will be the root path of the application. I deploy the application and soon enough we will see, as in the case of the cluster IP, a publishing mode internal, but the HTTP route via the ingress controller is uh, the host name we configured in the resource pool, which is flash.node0. If I click here, I have access to the application also. Right, so for our uh, ways of deploying service types with Portainer, with um, uh, zero uh, writing of YAML manifests, it's all by the Portainer interface. Um, so it's very easy to manage service types when you deploy applications with Portainer. Now let me show you my cluster setup quickly, because I want to show you how I enable these service type features like load balancer and ingress controller. These have to be configured on my cluster setup here. I have to make sure I have the right ingress type and class configured and the load balancer also enabled on my Kubernetes cluster. Now, let me show you, for instance, this uh, two more features like here, metric server uh, features enabled on my Kubernetes cluster. How can I manage and make use of this via Pertainer? So let's say caddy node port is an application that from time to time needs auto scaling. Um, so if I enable the auto scaling for this application that requires you to have the metric server features enabled by a pertainer, I can, for instance, say uh, that this uh, application needs a minimum of five instances and a maximum of 10, a maximum of 10 instances. So when I update this application, it's going to replicate the application on the minimum amount determined here of five instances. And um, when more resources or more pods are required, the Kubernetes cluster will deploy up to 10 more instances of this application. And very quickly here we see the replication happening throughout my Kubernetes cluster. And now we have five instances deployed. Important to know, to also mention that I left the default 50% average CPU usage across all instances. It's also configurable via the um, Portainer application deployment form. Another feature I also, I also want to show that is very interesting is placement rules. So let's get, for instance, caddy ingress. Caddy ingress is running here on node one. It's a uh, AMD64 architecture node. But you know what? I want to run this on my ARM64 node. I can um, enable this via a placement rule here. And this is an example of placement rules are, are obviously configurable. I'm picking this architecture as an example. You could use node or operating system, um, all other options that you have here enabled in on each of the nodes. So let's say the architecture here is default AMD64, but I want to make sure it will only run on ARM64 nodes. If I leave it as preferred, the priority for the Kubernetes cluster is to deploy this application on an ARM64 node. But eventually, if there's an image for the uh, AMD64 uh, nodes, it will also deploy the image on these other nodes. But I want to enforce the placement rule. So I'll make sure to select mandatory here. And once I update the application, here on placement rules that originally has all four nodes enabled for this image, very soon we will see that only node three, which is the node that has the ARM64 architecture, will be able to run this image. Okay, so we saw play, uh, service types, um, placement rules, and auto scaling. Um, very quickly, you can enable these features and deploy applications accordingly 
with the proper service types that you require for each of the applications via Portainer. It took me, I'm now on 10 minutes through this video and you can see I managed to do all these six things very quickly and very easily. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned for our next how-to. Thank you very much.